So I'm just outside Skatavekit uh, so that I can um, go and hopefully get my ID card, well at least get the photo taken for it. I put the application in for this ID card two weeks ago, put the appointment online and um, the appointment is today. So hopefully once I've got that ID card, SCB will allow me to upgrade my non-resident account to a proper account and then I can get bank ID, yay! In the meantime, just whilst driving here, I was just thinking, Brexit day is today, sadly, and it made me wonder if Sweden ran a Swexit, what would the result be? Sweden is typically a nation where a lot of the population think things, but they don't want to say it, either because they're too afraid to, or because they're in this false sense of uh, personal doubt, and they, they can't believe that they would think these things, when actually deep down they are thinking them, that they just don't want to say it or air it publicly. And I wonder if Sweden running a Brexit type campaign, it would give Swedes an opportunity to voice their frustration about issues in this country that they feel are issues, but aren't willing to, to talk about them. Now, obviously, they can express those frustrations very much so in an election. And they did in the last where the Swedish Democrats won a really, really big majority. Swedish Democrats are kind of like the Sweden's equivalent to UKIP, essentially, uh, a party that could never, never govern a country. But I think it's good to have parties like that, even if I don't agree with them, because it pulls the middle parties more into the middle. Otherwise, you'd end up with parties in the middle, which are not really in the middle. You need parties on the far left and the far right to find a balance. Um, but yeah, that that last election in Sweden did show that Swedes are frustrated and they wanted an outlet to express that. And that was, I think, about just under a quarter of the electorate voted for the SDs into, into government. So if, if Sweden had a Swexit, I do wonder if the vote would be enlightening. I think a lot of Sweden's population would vote and tell people they voted one way when actually they'd probably vote to leave. I, I just worry that if that did happen as a Brit living here, how scary that would be. And it puts you into the shoes of the EU migrants in the UK and how they've been feeling ever since the Brexit referendum. A real feeling of being unsettled and uh, in some respects unwanted by a majority, even if it was only 4%, but still a majority of the uh, the, the electorate. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, celebrations tonight, I understand, in the middle of London from um, Brexiteers. There's only a certain type of people that will be celebrating Brexit, and they will be the Daily Mail and the Sun and the Daily Star readers that don't really know why they voted it for it. They just voted for it because we want we want control back. And if you ask them what do you mean, they'll just not really have a clue. They're probably also fans of Nigel Farage, etc. Uh, um, very, very depressing and sad. But yeah, I, I won't be celebrating tonight. I feel sorry for the UK and I feel sorry for the future generations that didn't get a chance to vote. Um, but I'm sure the UK will bounce back. Whether it will be as prosperous as it could have been, who knows. But anyway, I better go to my Skatteverkit appointment. <laughs> so, vi ses, ha en bra helg, och vi ses kanske på måndag. Hej då!